Recently, many countries are paying attention to the moon. The moon holds a wealth of economically valuable resources such as magnesium, titanium, silicon, and more. Among these resources, one that particularly attracts significant attention is the element helium-3. Helium-3 is the most crucial fuel used in next-generation power plants, such as nuclear fusion reactors. However, in order to extract these resources from the moon, we first need to establish a lunar base. Nevertheless, to construct a lunar base, several critical challenges must be addressed first. Indeed, the primary issue that needs to be addressed first is the problem of oxygen supply. In fact, the moon does have an atmosphere. Yet the moon's atmosphere is very thin and mostly composed of hydrogen, neon, argon, and similar elements. Unfortunately, the moon's atmosphere completely lacks oxygen. That's why organisms that are dependent on oxygen for respiration, like us, cannot breathe on the moon. These challenges are indeed critical from our perspective as we aim to establish a lunar base. But we seem to be quite fortunate. Remarkably, a significant amount of oxygen has been discovered on the moon as well. However, the oxygen found on the moon doesn't exist in a gaseous form like it does on Earth. It's actually contained within the extremely fine dust that covers the entire lunar surface, known as regolith. The regolith on the moon differs entirely in form and characteristics from the soil on Earth. Earth's soil has acquired various properties over a long period through the influence of different organisms. However, the moon has never hosted life, so it has retained its primordial characteristics in the regolith. Surprisingly, approximately 45% of the regolith consists of oxygen. Of course, this oxygen is not in its pure state but is mixed with various minerals. So, to utilize this oxygen, we first need to remove the minerals it's mixed with. To remove the minerals mixed with oxygen, the common method used is electrolysis. This method involves melting the compounds mixed with oxygen at high temperatures and then passing an electric current through them to break them down. While this electrolysis process may not be too challenging on Earth, it's an entirely different story when it comes to the moon. First, the required equipment must be sent to the moon, and a steady energy supply is essential for its operation. But just how much oxygen is there in the lunar soil to make scientists ponder these challenges? Scientists estimate that there is an average of 630 kilograms of oxygen per cubic meter of regolith. Additionally, the average depth of the regolith is estimated to be around 10 meters. If we were to excavate all the regolith on the moon down to this depth, how much oxygen could we potentially extract? By the way, NASA has calculated that humans need approximately 800 grams of oxygen to survive for a day. Applying all of this, the calculation suggests that the moon contains an amount of oxygen that could sustain approximately 8 billion people for about 100,000 years. Of course, it's a theoretical scenario, but it illustrates the enormous quantity of oxygen potentially contained in the lunar soil. Currently, several companies are testing equipment to extract oxygen from the moon. The European Space Agency ESA, plans to send this equipment to the moon through ISRU missions by 2025. Even though the moon has abundant oxygen, its weak gravity and almost non-existent atmosphere make terraforming impossible. However, the oxygen on the moon will enable humans to establish lunar bases and support various activities. Moreover, the oxygen on the moon can also be utilized for producing propellants and water for spacecraft. If the ongoing tests progress successfully, lunar bases could become a reality, and not just a dream.